Good morning, guys. This is View from the Pastor's Study, and we are going through 30 days of prayer, praying especially for those who are lost, unchurched, and those who are de-churched. Just a reminder, the de-churched are those who might have grown up in church and might have made a genuine profession of faith in Jesus Christ, but for some reason, uh, church life did not become a part of their life. It might have been they were hurt, might have been it wasn't made important to them, but a child of God needs to be with the people of God. So we're seeking through this time of prayer over the next 30 days to pray for those who are lost, those who are unchurched, and those who are de-churched, and pray God will bring them back home. Jesus' passage that we're going to read today is from Matthew 11, 28 through 30, and it has to do with burdens. And one of the things Jesus was dealing with, with the Pharisees of his day, they were putting these undue burdens on the people. They would give them oral traditions to follow. You see some of that come up at times. They would make Sabbath laws that weren't in the Old Testament. After all, they get upset at Jesus because he heals people on the Sabbath. And Jesus confronts them about this because it's not in the Bible. It's an oral tradition that's passed down. And we can all have in church life our oral traditions that we lay as burdens on other people that the Bible doesn't specifically say that God's people need to do or not do. We have to be mindful of that. Now, we are called to holiness, and because of your love for Jesus, you ought to desire to follow him the best you can. But when you follow Jesus, really follow him. All that law-keeping will, I, I trust, trust me on this, it'll take care of itself. Because when you love someone, when you really love them, you'll keep their word, you'll keep their commandments. Jesus even said we would. But Jesus says to those who are heavily burdened of his day, come to me, come to me. And I just want to read to you this passage and I want you to think about people in your world who are burdened but are running to other sources to meet that burden. It may be running to alcohol or drugs. It may be running to relationships. It may be running to some set of beliefs. It can be running to uh, fitness programs. It can be running to uh, whatever, riches of the world. But they're running to those places to get their burden taken care of. And I'm here to tell you right now that I believe that none of those things could take care of the burdens that really weigh us down. Only Jesus can do that. So as we pray today, uh, we're going to think about that as we pray. And we're going to think about helping people see the need to turn to Jesus to permanently and eternally take care of the burdens of their life. If you've been in church any period of time, you've heard this passage, and maybe if you haven't, you had as well. But it's still true today, and I love it. When he says these words, he says, Jesus says, Come to me, all you who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart. And you will find rest for your souls, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. So pray for those in your life who are lost, unchurched, dechurched, who have had a burden put on them or put a burden on themselves uh, that they can't carry and help them to take that burden to Jesus. Secondly, Pray God will keep them from running to these other things as burdens as well. So here's the model prayer for today. You apply it accordingly. Lord, this world is filled with burdens. I know my lost family and friend experience the reality of suffering in this broken and sinful world. People look to everything but Jesus to find hope and peace. And I know my loved one is no exception. They run to things other than you to relieve the pain of life and achieve some sense of comfort. Father, I know you're the only one who can provide true rest. Jesus, you're the only one who can provide true rest. Please cause my loved one, my lost loved one, my lost friend to recognize the futility of looking to anything in this world for the rest they seek. And let the reality of this, drive them to you, Jesus, through repentance and faith. Amen. So I pray that 
it's our prayer today for those who need Jesus today. And I pray that if you don't have a place to worship, come join us Wednesday night, 615. We're walking through the New Testament, looking at Jesus through the eyes of the Apostle John. And it's been exciting as we've started to do that. So come join us, 615 in person or on Facebook. And come to Jesus today. He'll give you rest. God bless.